Hey guys, Catherine here. It's February 8th and I am coming uh, coming at you today with <laughs> another Valentine's Day charm. This one I'm doing for my uncle. Um, he and my aunt have a dog and I would like to try to sculpt their dog's face for a charm. So what I'm going to do is I've got some black and I've got some more black and I've got a tiny bit more black so I've got a bit set aside and I've got some brown here and their dog is black and brown and she's got some gray in her but I think I've got a theory about what I can do for that so we'll get to that in a minute I'm just going to take and lightly mix the brown into the black just at one end see if I can't contain it to just the one side um, just to give her a bit of a brown nose and then I will roll it back into a ball and make it roundish and then find the side that has the brown on it again and start pinching that out um, because in theory the dog's face comes forward Go. I've got a picture for reference yep okay so her face, well her nose comes out nearly as wide as the rest of her head because it's got sort of sides to it. I don't know how else to describe it. Sides. Sides is the best way I can say it. Um, and what I'm going to do is take and just lay this right like this and then your mouth down and in this picture at least her tongue is out um, and the sides of her mouth go upward so actually I think we're going to add the tongue first and then tilt those up so that I can make sure that I've got them on there nicely so I'll grab a bit of pink just a small little amount and mush it around just a little bit so that I can make a sort of tongue shape. It's just sort of pink and sticking out and curled around a little bit. There we go. And then, oh, that is a little too wide. Let's see if we can't bring it in at the edges. There we go. Let's try that. That's better. And then use the X-Acto knife to press it in. Bring it up and in a little bit because it's just, just barely. Without cutting it, hopefully. And then use the back of the blade to put a small divot in the tongue. There we are. And then curve the sides of the mouth up around it. I should probably be using an actual sculpting tool for this, but whatever. It'll work out, I'm sure. Okay, and then Bring the top of the nose down and up and I think sort of in behind here and up. There we go. That's giving me a shape I like. That's a much better shape. All right. Same thing over here. Okay, so if you can tell what I did there, I just took my tool and pressed in and rolled it up. So it created um, both a draw in at the sides, but also lifted up the brow ridge. Go. Because that does need to be um, a little bit in at the sides. The She's got like these almost whisker patches, <laughs> which sounds silly to say because she's a dog, not a cat, but 
that's what it looks like on her. These sort of patches that come out at the sides right on the either side of her nose. All right, and then we're going to take just a small bit of, actually we're gonna wait on that, I think. And we want to add some ears for her. Um, actually, no, I've changed my mind again. Before I add ears, I want to texture the face parts. And I've got this little brush here, so I'm just going to take the brush and try not to toss it around and just run the brush down the sides to create a fur texture because dogs are not smooth no matter who you ask it doesn't change that dogs are not smooth um, <laughs> there we go there we are that's better That'll give her a better texture so that when I add the rest of the features, I've already got that on there so that, uh, for instance, like when I put the nose on, the nose then doesn't get the fur texture. That's turning out pretty well, actually. Oh, I took some of it off there. There we go. Oh, there we are. That's what she's looking like so far. Um, let's set that aside for now. And then lift that up again because it's been knocked down a little bit. And then what I want to do is give her ears. And I didn't set aside clay for ears because I forgot. So, her ears are darker than the rest of her. They are pretty much black. So, I am going to grab some more black real quick. And, eh, like that much. Eh, like that much. There we go. Because it's better to have too much than to have too little. And I'm going to need that for a second. And... Then her ears are this sort of bell shape. They're wider at the bottom because of the way her fur falls. So, and they fall just to the bottom of her jawline too, which is actually really convenient for sculpting. So what I'm going to do is take this, roll it into a ball, and then roll it into a snake, and then divide it in half. And roll each half into a ball well ball ish go and then flatten it at one side and pinch it up and flatter at the other side so that it makes a sort of teardrop and then test that against her head too big Pull a bit of it off. Try again. That's going to be too big again. I can tell already without even having put it against her. That's okay. Try. There we go. Aha! That's the size we're looking for. So then make the other one the same. Which is the tricky part. Or at least close enough that it that they, it passes for having her head tilted to one side or the other. Um, there we go. There we are. That's pretty close. Not too bad anyway. And then, same thing as we did with the head, we're going to add the texture to it. Paying particular attention to the bottom of the ears because that's where the most of the texture is. There we go. And then I'm 
put it on one side and smooth it on. Let me check the picture. Yeah, smooth. Smooth it on. Had to check, I'd forgotten. And then texture it on so that you can't even tell that it was attached afterward. And one ear is done. And then texture the other ear. Again, paying particular attention to the bottom because that's where the most of her texture is. Oop. While also trying not to entirely misshape it. Okay, start over. Sometimes you just start over. There we go. Then be lighter, but also more insistent about it, if that makes any kind of sense. There we go, and then put the other ear on and smooth it down. There we go. and then texture it so that you can't even tell that it was ever smoothed in. And then add texture back to the whiskers again because it's slowly handled itself off of there. And now, now I'd really like to do the the eyes in a different color, but they're definitely not. Um, her eyes are most definitely black. That's okay. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll make two equal size beads of black, and these are probably going to be too big. I always make the eyes too big. So I'll take one of them and divide it in half, well, half-ish, and then do the same to the other one. There we go, and two roundish eyes, while well, trying not to drop just everything. Oh yeah, way too big. See, and I even took and divided them in half and they're still too large. That's okay, do it again. Go and then just drop it in and drop that one in. And then, aha, grab a toothpick and round them back up now that I've squished them out of shape. And bring the sides around. There we go. That's an extra piece of clay right on there. That's okay, bring the sides around. And then just smooth down right between her brows. 
go so that it comes down just a little bit. Leads down to the nose that isn't there yet. And then to make a nose shape, so I'll take some of these little bits, little tiny pieces and put them together. See if I can't make something sort of like a nose, maybe. There we go. And then take and smooth it up the front just a little bit and place to open up each side. All right. And that goes on. Actually, let's not put the nose on yet. I have I've had a thought. So I think why the brown didn't show up when I tried to do the pastel on the pork is because it didn't contrast enough. So I'm going to try and see if I can't do some white to give her some highlights and highlight her, her hair and things and see if that doesn't do it. So I'll scrape off some white pastel and grab a brush. And her white is mostly right on the top of her nose. Aha! That is showing up a little bit. Better than the brown did, anyway. And on the sides. There we go. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually not use that texture brush, but rather use the toothpick, because that isn't lifting enough as or as much as I want it anyway. There we go. That's better. That gives me the amount of texture that I'm looking for there. And then the other side too. I'm like really just stabbing in and lifting up and raising this up quite a bit. There we go. And then see if I can't dust that again, just really lightly. And then Maybe like right on the top of her eyebrows, just a little bit. There we go. That's looking much better now. All right. And then for the nose. So how was it oriented? Aha, like this. And then it's going to press on right there and come down and back. And there we have it. One puppy dog uh, charm. Uh, she still does need a pin though. Let's see. Let's try and see if the pin is going to be too long, and it is. That's okay. We will trim it down. And then I found if I hold the pin with the pliers, it goes in better. I can get it in a little straighter and easier if I do. So just right like that. Sink it all the way in, right at the back. And... I do think the bottom of her ears needs a bit more texture too, so I'll pull that up. Go as well. There we go. One side.
There we are, the other side, back to the first side. And there we have it, for reals is this time. One, puppy dog. All right, um, this has been the 8th of February. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, bye.